morning HQ fam we are now back again on Osiris New Dawn so you might be wondering why am I on this specific view so just to set your expectation guys major update was released yesterday so I was about you know I was thinking of creating a video of this yesterday but I just decided to do it today so why not so of course we'll be discussing the new update changes so if you're watching my videos on the experimental updates, generally what they did is uh, from the experimental update, they moved that to the stable update. So, you know, that's why it kind of uh, delayed for a week or so. But good thing is that it's already available on stable. And you, if you don't want to, you know, uh, test bugs, then like what we do, then definitely you can play this one. So, yep, for the Osiris Newton stable update, so they included space station crafting and uh, neobiomes also or biomes all right so those are uh, vegetations and stuff that you can find on osiris uh, on the proteus 2 or proteus tree all right so discover system you should be able to see i'll of course discuss it to you as well later once we play a game and then GPS resource filtering this helps on for you to be able to uh, find locations or find the resources that you need specifically so there's a scanning trigger which is I think I've already discussed that on my experiment experimental video so if you haven't check it out if you haven't uh, viewed it and check it out but I'll also discuss it shortly on this and then of course new skill tree it doesn't uh, pr let us unlock any more of the uh, things that we can craft so we can craft everything as long as we have the resources needed and this would generally be skill points I would say so it generally increase your um, damage increase your vegetation um, produce and stuff but we'll definitely check it out as well and then yeah mainly that is it aside from the the things that you see on the experimental update so i'll be putting my custom settings of course on this and then we will be starting from the beginning and then i'll be uh, uh telling you some startup things that you you know you might want to adapt or do as well so yeah let's not waste too much of our time so, right, so while it's on the transition for the cinematics, of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload videos. So, yeah, let's, you know, just pass through the cinematics so that you will get sorry, 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 Steve Space Vessel. You and Phoenix arrive at 3.6 years ago. There you go, that's our um, space station, but um, I think the stable update for a space station is still the same, it's not yet usable, it doesn't move yet, I think it's still on the work, but you know, great thing, great progress I would say. Two, one, four, six. giving you some notes of course and then if you have played the previous table update you might really um 
feel it's weird and grindy at first because you really need to get used to the new changes especially the new economy all right there you go oh i think i need to increase my my sound but that's fine let's exit out first in here oops all right so v would be toggle camera view all right let me just adjust my sound a bit that's fine all right there you go all right so yeah of course first things first is for us to complete our mission we would need to salvage our space debris and since this would take a while because we have us um our multi-tool is not that fast because it's a beginner multi-tool so yeah i'll just go ahead and speed through this all right now we're done on collecting all the um, scrap or the space debris so um luckily i'm near the crash airplane or the airplane that doesn't work or the spaceship that doesn't work so we'll go ahead and go to that location first which is near on this tumbo basin so of course playing the game for a bit for more than 40 hours now make me it's gonna kind of help there you go that's a spaceship and then you might be interested or you might be all right let's go let's go inside there's a dust storm all right there we go we have the will cell which is great because we need that specifically for um for the fuel cell upgrade so that we don't need to uh, put fuel on our furnace if we do something but i think we still need to you know uh, gather things or do a fuel for the first time because we will be required to get some ores that we need for the upgrade i forgot but yeah so um, you might be thinking on creating a debris hut, but for me, I suggest that you don't because I'll be providing you or showing you a location where you can um, build a base which will help you for a long while, specifically if you were not able to collect all the necessary resources that you need. So I'll just go ahead and uh, get this um, dust storm. I'll let the dust storm finish and then I'll see you on the Osiris base which is located there. So I'll see you there. Alright guys, so we are now here on Osiris new base or Osiris base. So let's go ahead and check it out. Hopefully we get another fuel cell. Let's see. Okay, broken barrel. That's good. So we need that. Okay, oh, not, that, not that bad but you know the loot are small but that's fine. The good thing is that I have it on a high yield or I mean respawn rate is high so which means we can just check back on this location one like after 10 to 15 minutes so yeah all right so now we're done with that so it's now it shows fine calm slag so that is generally on the alpha refinery but before we do with that we'll go ahead and create a debris debris hot so for that we'll go to the next location that we will be setting up our base. Yeah, crouching here is a pain to be honest. That's that's the thing that I don't like even on experimental build. The auto crouch when you're at 30 degree and stuff. So yeah, so the base that I'll be suggesting for you guys is to use this base or this location. This is Ampelis Ampeliska. Let me just double checks. I think it's Ampeliska Planitia. So this is the best base that you can have or you can create or you can uh, create while you're um, on your start and then you can just move to a better location which that have like a better area of flatten area where you can create uh, what they call this Platin area where you can create where you can create your base properly because you can either uh, position yourself here or you can also check that other flat location there but I prefer it here 
uh, before I do it on the other location near the grow, uh, glowing sludge tree. So, okay, let's go ahead and create this. All right, so uh, big changes as well is if you're playing, if you're playing the game before, you might be, you know, you tend to create a forge. But if you're first on this game, you needed to upgrade first your furnace before you start creating a forge. So, all right, so we'd go ahead and create a furnace, but we don't have, oh yeah, we need workbench first. And for that, we need blueberry or the fernberry, which is we can get by walking here. And there's a lot of berry here. And then the good thing about that is that since there's a lot of things here, then we can just go here if we need some food, drink, and stuff. So yeah. Now let's just wait for it to show that there's no available resources. So yeah, I have it on one just to, you know, just to... I'll show to you guys for those who are playing on. Yeah, there's no viable resources anymore, which is that's fine. We still have a lot of trees that we can um, collect the berry tree. And then, of course, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of things like cactoid. This is if you use your knife, of course, it will give you alien fiber, which you need on the first part. So, yep. All right, so now let's create our workbench. Workbench, so we need to have the patch. The patch tape, which is good, it's fine. All right. Utility, so let's create our workbench. Might be wondering um, what we need. So we need furnace as well, but since we need barrel we need to create a barrel which is here using the broken broken barrel that we collect earlier so we just need to create more um patch tape there you go there you go there you go there you go so let's create our barrel let's create this and then for upgrades, uh, I forgot. So it's aluminum, leather, and the lead, which is we can get that while we go to the refinery. So which is good. So we'll just go ahead and cancel the upgrade for now. Um, for furnace, we need crude pipe. So we can create crude pipe. I'll be creating this as well. Then we should start collecting um, alien hide, which is, I'll be showing to you how we create an alien hide. So we need, all right. So for alien hide, all you just need to do is to make sure that you pick up rocks and then create a stone blade. I did pick up eight earlier and then you need to create a shard blade. So you might be wondering why you cannot collect alien hide using the the survival knife because it's a dull survival knife so generally if you bash the alien remains using that then it will only give you that, that's what we need let's collect this it will only give you alien tissue which currently that's currently the things that i have you see i have 10 all right because i just wanted to show it to you guys that this is what you need for your for you to be able to get some alien hide because this is usually uh things that being asked on the for forums the community forums and then on the discord so yeah specifically for those who didn't really play the uh, experimental update hey don't run we're gonna gonna die all right so let's go ahead and collect our alien hide I think six alien hide is good. And then the reason, the 
also the next reason that I'm suggesting this location is because there's an hydrogen geyser there. So this is for your water, water source. And then there's an oxygen geyser there. We just need to walk like less than 500 moles. So yeah. There we go. Oh, oops. Auto crouch is kind of a pain. So I really hate that, but there's nothing we can do. Hopefully the developer fix that. Salvation so that's the line. oxygen geyser. Yeah. So that's how, you know, near the location is for the resources. And then you have the berry tree to suffice the drink and thirst on the beginning part of the game. Like so I'll bring this and then what we need to do is to create our need to create our letter. We need three. I think we need more because we needed make ship chisel. I need to make this. This uh this is our priority because we would need that so that we can mine lead and other things. Yeah, and there we go. Alright, three and then let's create this because this is our priority to make sure chisel. This is also a blunt weapon. So this crude metal axe is generally a slashing weapon. So, all right, make ship. And let's create our crude metal sword and then crude metal axe. Just we need more of this. All right, and then we'll need crude pipe. Do we need crude pipe though? Yeah, we need crude, um, crude pipe for the furnace. Now that's fine. We'll just create the furnace later. So what we will do now is we'll go ahead and go to the alpha refinery so that we can finish the communication slug. And then I'll get some, um, space debris along the way. And then we'll get back here and then complete it. I'll be also hitting up mine number two since it's along the way through the alpha refinery so i'll see you in a bit i'll see you on the alpha refinery and then on the way back we'll go ahead and hit up my number two so that we can collect some lead and other things that we need like aluminum and stuff so yeah i'll see you there all right guys so we are now here on the alpha refinery so what's this Ooh, what's this reinforced crate huh we cannot access that so for us to complete the comm slug all we just need to do is to access this alpha refinery we need to go inside and then get the other key card which is should be here on a dead body oops kind of being graded that's fine because we have our settings on swarming so there you go so that should complete your um comm slug you can just pause the video for the location. All right, so let's go ahead and kill these guys. Oops. There we go. One down. All right, so we are now here on mine two. Let's go ahead and um, go inside. So we'll be doing a short raid. So we'll just need to get one diamond at least. So mainly this is just a straightforward location. And then once we go to our first... Oh, I'm kind of tired. There you go. Need to run. All right, this is cobble. Just we cannot uh, collect those yet. That's fine. Mercury, we can collect. But let me just kill these guys. There we go. Give us alien hide. Yeah, we'll collect mercury. At least like 10 pieces of mercury. Why not, All right? There we go. You're dead. Give me your alien hide. I'm currently at one 
drop of one so that's fine since i have my respawn rate at um high that's fine so next is we'll just need to go straight and then i usually go left i'll just collect those so silver you can collect it as well uh, cobalt not yet because cobalt requires um five and the current makeshift is only uh, makeshift only gives you three max of three hardness is the those resources that you can collect so we'll go ahead and mine this lead for us to be able to upgrade our um, furnace or our workbench yeah so and then i'll just collect uh things along the, uh on the way back generally yeah i'll just collect things on the way back so we'll just go ahead and continue now we need to go forward uh we should end up on a location where there's a mine door like this one it should usually give you diamond which is what we need and this is battery not bad and tactical knife this is great as well should give us two to eight in this is five to fifteen so yep so i'll just go ahead and go back now uh, along the way i'll go ahead and collect some mercury and then uh, lead and then we'll go out and then i'll guide you on where to find the tin deposits all right so we are now out from mine two so once you're out from mine two all you just need to do is to walk straight here um and then we'll end up near the zinc deposit zinc deposit is generally there on the on this location you see that those are zinc so you might uh think of it just like a normal rock outcropping but those are zinc so which we need if i'm not mistaken so th those are the things that we neutrally need tin C or tin yeah zinc is on the other side sorry so these are tin deposit right, so we'll collect at least 15 or 20 yeah, i think 15 we'll just collect 15 because we still need to collect aluminum for us to be able to do the nest the other things that we need all right guys so we we <laughs> are Weapon is already broken, so the enemy raided me, but that's fine. We were able to handle them. So I'll be able to get a lot of tissue. Uh, but yeah. But the main purpose of this, of course, is to get our zinc, which is sweet. So we'll get zinc, and then let me just go ahead and drink. And then eat. of course you can just pause the video to get the coordinates so you can definitely get a lot of sync here so i think i'll just get you know 15 or 10. let me just open up my light so there you go and then aluminum is on the next location i think it's on the next hill so let me just get this and then we'll proceed to aluminum there you go so since we already have zinc so those are zinc as well you can get that if you want and then we just need to go here in this location is it this location yeah it is i think there we go yes this is aluminum this should give us aluminum so there we go so of course you can also pause it if you wanted to know it or you can check my google sheet that i'm attaching on the description so that you can uh, get the locations of every resources that i have noted and of course if i miss something then you can you know suggest it and so that i can incorporate it or add it on the sheets that i have uh, put up so yeah i'll just go ahead and complete this and then i'll see you on the base all right, guys, so it's already on in the morning, so you might be wondering what I did because I get here, um, it's already dark, so I don't want to, you know, create, uh, uh, to do things when it's dark. So what I did is, while well, I'm waiting for it to, you know, to get brighter, then I get some sand. 
<laughs> so what you can do for Senso, you see I have almost 235. What you can do is just go inside here because you'll be safe here. And then what you need to do is to just you know, get, have, have a shovel and then just put something on your mouse and then do your thing. So I did wash my dishes and stuff. So yeah, there you go. So now we will go ahead and create our furnace, but we have another raid, which is awesome. Now we're, and sadly our, our item is already damaged. So our uh, damage output would generally be low, but that's fine. You see, you see how, f how easy it is to get some combat experience here. Closest is not a bad, you know, those is just not something that I'm afraid of because you can kill them easily, to be honest. We just need to make sure to repair our... Yeah, I needed to make sure that I go ahead and create the repair upgrade so that we can fix our tools. Ah, oh, shoot. Our oxygen is low. That's fine. Yeah, we can kill this guy. I wanted to do the repair then. Let's do the repair, the repair upgrade. Yes. Oh shoot. Um, System restored. Let me just complete this and then I'll repair my blade so that I can kill them easily. Because if your item is broken, um, you will have a problem. Let me just heal as well. And then let me repair my stuff. Yeah, just just wait, okay? Just wait, my friend. I'll be coming for you. There you go. We're we're now back online. Yeah. Feel my sword, baby. Yeah, this is what I hate though, with regards to the auto auto crouch. Because it will auto crouch on a specific Oh, there we go. There we go. Vitals are now critical. There you go. And we're done. We're done with them. There you go. Oh, cause... Okay. There you go. So that should suffice. Oxygen low, that's fine. So we have the repair upgrade. So now we will be able to do a tool station once we have the necessary things. But we need furnace, of course. So patch tape and crude pipe. So let's create a crude pipe. And then let's create our patch tape. Is it one? Forgot. Let's see. Oh, need two. Need two patch tape. Okay. All right, there we go. So we should be able to create a furnace after we get the crude pipe. There we go. So we'll put it here. Generally, if you're not sure that if you can create the fuel cell upgrade, then put it in front because this is where you put your fuel. But let's see if we can already create the fuel cell upgrade. So we already have the aluminum and then the fuel cell, which we get earlier on the wreck spaceship. So we just need to create that. So the advantage of this is that you don't need to put fuel anymore. So. That is why I did, I guide you on the zinc aluminum team is because of this. So next is for low heat, we need brass and zamac, which we can create here. So copper is something we can get easily. Zamac is copper and magnesium. We can get it on the, on that location. Where is it? On that location. All right. So that's one thing that you wanted to prioritize is the low heat and then the low heat and then the let me just complete this low heat and then the water distillery but i think uh glass without that's glass without container guys so don't be confused so you need a, a glass container without anything on it and then what we need now is for us to be able to, you know, um, create those. 
Oops. Pencil upgrade. There you go. So we just need bronze, six A, six AL for V wire, and then electro. So for that, we just need to do this, which is magnesium and copper, copper, and then anything else we need. Six AL four V titanium. We can get that as well, of course. And then you can always check on my guide below on the Google Sheets. So those are the resources where you can find the location. And of course, don't forget to create your skill tree. So you just need to check. So salvage bonus, let's do that. Crafting speed, let's do that. Crafted item durability. Yeah, let's do that. Why not, right? Oh, I don't have any anymore. Okay. Just need this hover duration plus 20%. And then... We'll do this for nutrition. Why not? Plant growth. We don't specifically need this specifically because we we don't have a biodome yet. So there's really no use for that at the moment. The so next is let's go. Do we need this though? Increase walk speed space. We just need that for this. Medicine potency. Water consumption, wine is 10%. This is great. To be honest, what's this? Fruit yield? Yeah, better. Why not? Let's do that. And then how about this? Solar panel output. And then the water. Water consumption. Then medicine potency. Alright, anything else? Now we will go here. Gun durability, melee weapon durability, usage that. Let's do, let's do that because we need the durability as much as we can. Projectile damage, let's do that. Suit breach, suit durability, alright. Yeah, I love this. Mining tool damage, uh, durability, let's go for the durability. And then melee weapon damage, we'll do that. And then how about this? Projectile damage, melee weapon damage plus 10%. Middle weapon damage and then durability all the way. Anything else? Anything else again? Durability, mining tool damage. Alright. So that's mainly what we need. And then we'll repair everything. Uh, we can just throw this. We don't need that anymore since we have the... Since we have the... Um, what do you call this? Since we have the blade, so that's fine. We can just throw this. Throw this away. And then let's repair this. This one great thing to use. So, yeah. So I think we'll just go ahead and continue the next, uh, continue it on the next episode if you prefer. But, of course, before we end, uh, I'll go ahead and discuss to you this, uh, discovery. So you can access this by, by F5. So you can see here we have five way to extract things. So we have blunt object, slashing, sharp weapon, surgical tool, and then extracting tool. So of course on the early game, you will be able to have an access with blunt object, which is the chisel. Slashing tool is generally the dull knife. And then the axe. Sharp weapon is for the alien hide, which you will be able to use like the shard blade shard blade or this sword blade all right so pressing f5 and then creatures there you go you'll see there on what you can get so surgical tool is referring to shears extracting tool is for both botany kit and then if you were able to successfully collect this and then you will get a star so let's see because i don't have the surgical tool yet and then extracting tool we will be able to build that once we have the forge. And I think we don't have the necessary requirement yet for the forge. You see? We need sulfur, which we can get on the leaf, blood leaf forest. Circuit board, we have that stored. Fuel cell, I need to hit up some wreckage to get a fuel cell for that. So, yeah. So those are the things that, of course, that will get you situated on the early game so generally it will give you 
fast progression on the early game. So I think uh, that might be it for now. Don't want to, you know, make this episode too long. But of course, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and help my channel to grow by subscribing, clicking on that notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload new videos. But I think that is it for now. This is Harry of Harris HQ, now signing out. Peace.